the celebration of vyas puja began from bhakti sudan sarav thakur previously there was no custom such but from shila bhakti sudan sarav thakur he established <coughs> and from and he himself celebrated his vyas puja i mean his, his disciple celebrated so from that time onwards the celebration of vyas puja started <coughs> so vyas puja simply doesn't mean offering to a to some some personality no vyas puja means we are offering via with the of we are we are offering to maharaj or a respective spiritual master and via their medium we are worshiping the whole parampara whole uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu and all the previous acharyas we are worshiping everybody so it is not just vyas puja just doesn't mean that we are just simply worshiping one person no this is a wrong understanding the correct understanding of vyas puja is that by the medium of that particular personality we are actually getting an opportunity to serve all the all the previous acharyas so this is the actual this is the actual reality of the vyas puja it is said in scriptures janma karma ch me divyam eyam yoviti taktvata taktva deham punar janma naiti maam eti swarjana <coughs> So, Janma Karma Chame Divyam. Krishna's birth, Krishna's activities, Krishna's pastimes are all divya, chinmaya, transcendental. So, the same, same principle, the same, same is with the devotees of the Lord. I'm not saying of the one person. I'm saying in tatva, the pure anala devotees principle. I'm not glorifying this Maharaj, but I'm saying in principle, pure devotees, they're also transcendental. Janma karma chame divyam. The same principle applies to them. Why? Because they they are doing they are performing the same mission. What the Lord has what for the same mission what the Lord comes for. What is the purpose of the Supreme Lord's coming coming down to this material world? What is his purpose? Confirmed. Uh, what is the purpose of coming down? Is to attract the condition living condition living souls towards him so lord krishna comes down he performs his sweet pastimes here and the conditioned souls they get attracted towards him and they they get delivered so same when the lord goes when the lord goes away to his, the, the devatas they come and they request the lord now lord you have established dharma and everything now if you want you can go so lord says okay i have to go now so the supreme lord goes back but what happens here who continues his mission the lord's mission is to attract the conditioned souls so who continues that mission his devotees there was there is never a time when sadhus are not present on the planet many times we have this faith we we have, we have this doubt whether our pure devotees present on the planet or no it is such a chaotic situation in the world so much disturbance is there in the world are the pure devotees are there on the planet or no hmm? but but krishna's arrangement is such the lord's arrangement is such that pure devotees are always on the planet they are always on the planet there is never a time when pure devotees are not there on the planet it is only that we have to seek shelter of those great mahatmas we need a vision for that we need a desire for that we need uh, lalsa for that yeah. within our heart we should we should aspire we should cry to we should hanker to associate with pure and holy devotees of the lord if this hankering is there the lord is resides supreme lord resides in our heart right and he takes the note of each and every activity what happens when we desire when we call for for getting association of pure and devotees he takes a note of it and then what happens he arranges a sadhu to come in our life or we go to that sadhu either of this, this one thing happens but this is krishna's arrangement if he sincerely desire for sadhu sangha then just like dhruva maharaj got association of narad muni vidura got association of maitreya uh, similarly we also if we call for sincere association then we get sadhu sangha and what what does this sadhu do 
the sadhus are on the same mission like the supreme lord what is their mission is to attract the conditioned souls towards krishna so how do they do that by speaking shrimad bhagavatam by speaking krishna katha they they broadcast the glories of the lord this this they speak about lord's glories lord's past times lord's uh, lord's activities lord's teachings they broadcast the glories and by hearing them by hearing them the condition living entities they become devotees of the lord just by hearing the lord's glories are so powerful that with that when it comes out from the lips of a pure devotees it can have the same effect what one can get in coming in direct contact with krishna so we are very thankful to all the great vaishnavas that they they are here in the material world and they are taking so much our spiritual masters they are doing selfless service on behalf of krishna and they are helping us to come closer to krishna so we wish on in today's vyasa puja occasion i wish to offer pranams to all those great vaishnava acharyas who are present on the planet we should offer our respectful pranams to all of them